All right, you guys, this is so funny to me. Ah, this is a metal chair that I always set into film. The box sticks to it. And yes, I am wearing Kristen's PJs. I didn't have to work today. Hi, everybody. I am super excited to show you what I have today. It's still stuck to my chair. <laughs> I am super excited to try this out today. This is the Dr. Brandt Magnetizer Age Defier, and this is the Magnetic Mask. I'm so excited. Uh, this is the first time I'm trying a mask out like this. I know there's several others out there, but this is the Dr. Brandt one. Retail value for this is $75. $75 to make your face magnetic. This, however, is a sample from Sephora. It's a really nice sample. Like, that is a nice box. It feels hefty. It is 0.5 ounces, and I really can't wait to try it out. I know it's probably just a gimmick, the whole magnet thing, but it looks like so much fun. I cannot wait. I have absolutely no makeup on, with maybe the exception of some mascara that was left over from my last video, testing out the Too Faced Melts Off Mascara product thing. And that is why all of these guys down here are so prevalent. Just so, oh, easy to see. <laughs> I do have a lot of skin concerns, obviously. I do get breakouts. I have some redness left over from acne scars. I'm like dry through here, oily T-zone. I get, you know, blackheads through here, things like that. So I'm gonna see what this little magic baby can do for me. I'm really excited to try this out, and I guess let's just get into it. They have very simple instructions right here on the little flaps for people like me who don't like to read. The first one says, using a spatula, just spread a thin layer. Number two says, leave on for five or 10 minutes. And then number three says, wrap magnet with a tissue, glide over face. All right, I've seen people use tissues, and then I've also seen people use cling wrap, and it seems like the cling wrap works a little bit better. Um, I'm gonna test out both of them, just to see which one I recommend. So in this little box, you get this, one of these, ugh, they're just so dramatic. They start off so small, and then they get so big, with so many words on them. So all the information about this is in this little pamphlet. We're probably not gonna do anything with that. You also get this little silver triangle and a raptor claw, it appears. I'm guessing this is a spatula, like this side, maybe, for the smearing process. And then we have our super strong magnet. And then we have our actual jar of the mask, which this is like seriously the nicest sample I've ever gotten from Sephora. It's like so nicely packaged, a safety seal, like the little container looks awesome. I'm just really excited about this whole situation right here. All right, so we're just gonna get started. My face is obviously clean, no makeup whatsoever. I'm gonna pull this little tab off to open it. Whoa, look at that. That's so cool looking. It looks like an awesome texture. There's so much on the lid. I'm just going to use the lid, probably. All right, I'm just going to dip in with this weird little spatula raptor claw and start applying. Oh, that is so smooth. Oh, my goodness. I probably need a mirror because I'm just incapable of being able to do things backwards and my camera is backwards. So we'll see how this goes. But it is so smooth. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Learn where your face is, Allie. There we go. I did read online that you don't need much of this to get the full effect, so just like a thin coat on your face, and I don't want to use much of it because I would like to use this a few extra times to really see how much it actually works. I actually like the smell as well. I don't really know what it is, but it smells pretty good. Oh, I need a mirror. I couldn't imagine what I would be like doing the no mirror makeup challenge. I can't even tell what side of my face or where like my eyes are in order to put this stuff on. And this is like the simplest thing ever. Right now it just looks like I have a very masculine beard. Oh, much better, much, much better. Okay, now we're in the business. Okay, that's taking a long time. I'm just gonna see what happens if you use your finger. Is it a sanitary? I don't know, but is it easier? Yes. Okay guys, it is all spread on decently even I think. It feels fantastic. It feels like very moussey. It's not like heavy or anything at all. It doesn't feel greasy, to me anyway. And I think it looks pretty cool too, so that's a bonus. I'm going to be setting my timer for 10 minutes because 5 minutes is just not enough. Like I want it to like soak in and work. And while I am waiting for 10 minutes, I'm going to be watching Grey's Anatomy. So I'll see you guys in just a little bit. Alright guys, the 10 minutes up and the exciting part is about to begin taking the mask off. Like this is what I've been so excited for. So I'm going to be using tissues and cling wrap to decide 
which one's better. These are hospital tissues, so that means they're crazy thin. So I'm going to use two because online it said that you need to use a thick tissue so it doesn't rip through. So these like completely like transparent hospital tissues probably won't do it. So I'm just going to wrap the magnet around the base. Why am I nervous? I'm kind of nervous. All right, guys, let's see how this goes. <gasps> no way. Can you guys hear that? Oh my goodness. Let me see if I can get closer. I don't know what the, what the speakers on these things. I don't know. I'm going to get closer so you guys can see and maybe even hear. That's amazing. I'm like not even touching it. It's just yanking it off my face. Ready? <laughs> That's the coolest. Oh my gosh! Why is this so cool to me? That's so awesome. Okay guys, I'm gonna remove um, all the side of my face with the tissue and then I'll remove this side of my face with the cleaning wrap and see which one is just easier or works better. Alright, here we go. Ooh. Alright, you can tell once it starts getting gunked up, that's not going to work as well. So I'm just going to rotate it to this side so I can get that off a little easier. That's just so cool. I wish I had a better angle for you guys to see this. Like, it just glides off. That's the coolest thing I've ever seen. And then it gets really gross around the edges. So, the side... Oh, it's so cool. It just glides off so easily. Oh my goodness. That's so awesome. I'm barely even like, if I'm touching my skin, like I'm not even like meaning to. Like I'm just barely going over it and it's just pulling right off. Alright, I'm probably going to have to switch places on the magnet because now we have a full like triangle. Which, it's really strange. Doesn't this look like embroidery? Like, that looks like stitching. That's so... <laughs> that's random. I'm sorry. That's really random, but that's what it looks like to me. So now I'm going to try to remove this from the tissue, and oh, that was simple enough. And then what's oh, also really interesting, as soon as the magnet releases, like, it becomes, like, gummy again. Like, you could just... I mean, that's unsanitary, but you, you could just put it right back on there, and then... Suck it right back off. Hours of fun. Not recommended, but still fun. That was two layers of tissue. I am going to try just maybe one tissue folded over and see how that goes. So let's remove the rest of this. Oh. Uh -huh. That sound. Oh my goodness. I wish you guys could hear that. It's awesome. Oh, you guys hear that? It kind of does sound like it's ripping stuff out of my face, which I'm okay with. That's pretty cool to me. All right, guys, and that is one side of my face that was taken off with tissue. Now we're going to try the other side with cling wrap and see which one is easier. I obviously can't tear cling wrap, but that's okay. So let's go ahead and wrap this guy in some cling wrap. And we're just going to go in on this side of the face. Oh, this side of the face. Whoa. You can really, really feel it with the cling wrap. I might like this better. Ooh, magic. Ew, I just saw something really gross. I can't tell if that's the something to do with the mask or if that's coming out of my skin but like do you guys see this disgusting like white junk next to the magnet I, I didn't see that on the tissue and it could just, just be because the tissue is white but that's really disgusting I don't I don't I kind of like hope it came out of my skin and it's like sucking all the bad stuff out and I also kind of hope it didn't because that's gross if you just like kind of like make like a triangle <laughs> I made a face design look at that that's like a new tattoo form. Don't go to the tattoo shop and get really expensive, painful tattoos. Just get a magnetic mask and then you can have tribal designs on your face. 
Look at that! It does also appear that the magnet is only magnetic on the sides, as per seen by my face designs. Guys, we're going to go ahead and finish this up. There's just a little bit left. I'm just going to get the remnants. I hate rinsing my face in the sink, like to wash off masks and stuff, so this is like right up my alley because I honestly hate doing that. You know when you see in the commercials when girls like are standing at the sink in the morning at like 6am and they're so excited to wash their face and they like splash water with their eyes open onto their face? I hate that. That really bothers me. Alright guys, and the last part of it is they say you can massage the oils that are left on your skin into your skin, so I'm just going to quickly rub those around. It feels very smooth, but it is very oily, so hopefully that just absorbs. I'll keep rubbing that around for just a little bit until it absorbs in. I am a wee bit afraid that this much oil on my face is going to cause more breakouts, but you know, we'll see how that goes. Hey guys, and that is everything. Overall, this is one of the most fun things I've ever tried on YouTube. I think this is awesome, but I don't know how much it works. I can't really say because this is just like a one-time thing, so I can't really say it worked amazingly or it didn't work at all. I will say that my skin does feel smooth. Magnet part is awesome. That is the coolest way I've ever seen to remove a mask or anything, basically. Um, I will say the two different ways to wrap it up, um, cling wrap versus tissue, well, I have pros and cons for both, actually. Pro for tissue is it is really easy to clean up. Definitely make sure you use a couple of layers just so it doesn't rip through. But a con is if you do use a couple layers, you really can't feel it like pulling as much, which I kind of liked. A pro for cling wrap is that you can feel it pulling, you can really feel it working, but it is kind of harder to wrap it up and keep it from poking through, like the little points poking through the plastic. And when it does, you're going to get mask stuck to your magnet and it's incredibly hard to get off. I've been fiddling with this for quite some time, just trying to like pinch the magnet off and it is not working, but you know, that's all right. I expected to get some on there anyway. Overall, do I think this is worth $75? Maybe not to me. I'm not like a big skincare junkie, mask collector, anything like that. But if you're really into skincare, this is something new and cool that you can do. It's just fun. It's really fun to do and that's my favorite part about it. My skin does feel nice and soft and it looks kind of like supple, I guess. I do really enjoy the novelty of it. The actual science behind it, like having like these micro electron charges or whatever, pulling at your face, making you look younger. I don't know. I don't know if that's a bunch of baloney or if that's real, but I do know what is real and that magnets are really fun. I love magnets. So this has been awesome. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. And if they still have these samples at Sephora, I'm not sure if they're out or not. If you place a $25 order, you can get one of these for free. And I'll put that code down below for you guys so you can check it out and see if they still have them. Anyway, I hope you guys have a fantastic day. Please subscribe. It would be fantastic if you did. And I'll see you next time. Bye!